here's how I decided to glue this down. And let me tell you why. I moved this piece from over here to down here because the stripes are oriented this way, much like these stripes are here. And I also like this edge, which echoes the um, edges of the board, marking on cradle board. And then I decided to put the deli paper down here to emphasize this verticality, much like the stripes here. And I'm toying with the notion of actually putting the nest in, but overlapping it. Okay, so maybe it's not the best design. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go for it because being indecisive just really wastes a lot of my time. So let's glue it down. If I don't like it, I'll just take it off later. Using a, an old credit card or room key, I'm gonna slather on some regular gel medium and then press this deli paper into it and squish it down. Now, sometimes I'm real picky because if I'm working in verticals, I want my vertical lines to be straight and not angled. I don't always like art that's got a lot of diagonals in it. But look at this, I had paint on the card. It's actually making a straighter line for me. Now I could lift this up and move it over, but maybe I like it a little cockeyed with this implied line, or it's actually a drawn line with the paint on the card. Let's do that. Okay, down here, let's mess with this a little more, see if that's exactly where I want it. Do I want it up here so the subject matter is all here and this is my empty space, or do I want to move it all the way down? Gosh, I have a little bit of a dilemma. I'm going to put the nest back in and see. Uh, this is going to overlap. So this extends the area of interest further down the composition, whereas if I move this up where I was thinking, it, this becomes a frame. Now it's got to go down there, I think. We'll try it once again. Now you can see that paint, because I was using a dirty card from yesterday. It's making little scratch marks. That doesn't bother me. It's just additional texture, right? When I do mixed media art, there's not a whole lot that does bother me because it's often that the thing that you thought, oh my god, oh no, that turns out to be, oh no, look at that, that's great. Now, the surface underneath is a little bit textured because of the thickness of that gesso or paint, whatever's under there. Let's scoop that up. There. So it's got a little few wrinkles in it. Now, when I glue paper down that's thin like that, it often will wrinkle, and that's okay with me. When it dries, it might flatten out. If it doesn't flatten out, I might like that extra texture. If I don't like it, another thing I'll do is take sandpaper and scrape the top off and that will bring back what's underneath where it's raised. So if you sand off the raised part, you'll see through that. Now, down here, where I've got the black markings, I might want to wipe some of those off or smear them around a little. I think it's kind of cool, actually, because it's so random what happens when you are a slob like me. All right, now, do I, oh, see if I put that, oh, I forgot, it was gonna go underneath. All right, so that's me forgetting. Let's see now, how am I going to resolve it? Do I want part of the nest? Maybe I do. Let me see, how would I, this is that half. But here's the other half. I might just put that in, like that. A piece of nest. Oh, it's a broken home, right? Part of the nest? 